What's up, what's up, what's up? It's your man, Chaz Ellis, once again. And a lot of you young guys trying to figure out why women won't go 50-50. Hell, a lot of you older guys trying to figure it out, too. I'm going to put y'all up on game and give y'all some of the reasons why it's happening. Well, here's the thing. People going to call you broke and dusty for wanting to go 50-50 with your girl anyway. And I'm going to have to disagree with that because bills is expensive nowadays. And not only that, it's about investment. If you're with somebody and they've never paid one bill, how can you really be surprised when they want to break up or get a divorce? They have not invested in a relationship. They've just been living comfortably off of your hard work. So do the math in your own head. It makes sense for them to say, you know what, I'm bored, I'm tired of it. Here's something I have no investment in. All right, let's let's do it like this. So I sit over here and I pay for a trip. Save up all my money and I pay for a trip to Jamaica. Pay for the trip. Say, yo, man, yo, you don't come on a trip with me to Jamaica? Yeah, bro, I'm with you. I'm going to come on a trip to Jamaica. The day before the trip comes along, one of our friends calls you up and says, yo, we about to go to a cabin. Uh, it's nothing but Sports Illustrated edition swimsuit models. You know, swimsuit edition models. Uh, they're going to be in there in, in Playboy bunnies. And it's going to be crazy. You're like, damn, really? Man, it's going to be the baddest girl. They're going to be getting freaky. They're going to be in a tub with bubbles and all this kind of stuff. It's going to be like a Diddy party without the Diddy. Okay, None, no Diddy. But just the, just the party, the girls, but, but not, not the that does. There's almost zero likelihood that I'm going to be willing to cancel the trip to Jamaica and let's just not go, not get on the plane. It's almost zero. Yo ass probably ain't going to make it on that plane. I'm just going to be real with you because when they start telling you what's going on, they start showing you pictures and videos of what's happening, you're going to be like, why should I go to Jamaica with this dude? I'm not even invested. I didn't pay for none of this. Yeah, maybe our friendship might force you to want to do it or whatever. But let's be real. Even if you do, you're going to probably come to Jamaica with an attitude and expect the world out of it. Starting to sound like your relationship. Well, there you go. <laughs> you know, when you think about it, then. Uh, a lot of women, they're not invested because they're not paying anything. So why do they not want to pay anything? Well, first thing is they don't feel you're worth it. If a woman is in a relationship with you and you were like, yo, will you pay half of the bills in the place that you live in? And she says, nah, I'm good on that. She has a job. She's working just like you are. And she's not willing to do it. Well, it's because she doesn't feel like it's worth it to be with you. She may want to be with somebody. She may want to have a boyfriend. She may want to have a husband. She may, may want to have certain experiences and things that she wants to do with the relationship, but it doesn't necessarily have to be you. So therefore she's not willing to invest her finances in that relationship. She has a specific thing that she's looking to gain from being with somebody and having her bills paid is one of those things that she's looking for. It's part of the package that she's looking for. It doesn't have to be you. If you were somebody like she was just over the moon, like people talking about the Chris Brown and paying the, the thousand for the picture and all that. It's because they really want to be around Chris Brown. They really want to go to the Usher concert. They, you get what I'm saying? They really want those things. So therefore, that's what they spend their money on. Just like you would. You're going to spend your money on what you really want. So a lot of times they're not paying those bills even when they have the money because they don't want to. You're just not valuable enough to them. That doesn't mean you're not valuable enough to anybody. It means you're just not valuable enough to that girl. Another reason why they do it is because they can get you to pay it. Why should they pay 50-50 when they can get you to pay it? Simple as that. I mean, they're not going to pay because they know that you'll do it. They know that even if you get mad, you huff and puff, you say, damn, I need some help with these bills, man, it's kind of tough. They know that they can use either shaming tactics, they can pout and cry, they can go silent treatment, withhold physical intimacy, they can do something and your ass gonna pay the bills. So why would they pay them? It doesn't make any sense from a logical standpoint. I mean, we can give all the um, emotional and moral arguments we want to, but just logically it doesn't make sense. You're replaceable. That's another reason. You are just replaceable to them. 
they feel that in most cases they can get somebody else if you won't do what they want you to do. They feel like, yeah, I like you. You're cool. You know, I really do like you a lot. But you're not just one of a kind rare to where if me and you broke up, we just don't have the personal connection that's so deep that if me and you broke up, I just never find anybody like you in my whole life. So they're like, mm, you know, why should I invest in this person? Why should I invest in this relationship when I can save my money up so that it'll be even easier for me to move on going forward? It's nothing personal in a lot of cases. It's just the fact that they feel like my money isn't as replaceable as you are. Um, another reason is that it's not how you started. You started paying all the bills. You started giving her money when you first met her. You started paying for all the dates and things of that nature. You were paying for her kids, babysitters, <laughs> paying for her clothes and makeup, cash happening her for her nails. I mean, if you did all that in the beginning, why would that person then turn around and want to do a 50-50 relationship. The, clearly, the relationship was built on the foundation that you were going to provide everything that they needed and things that they wanted. So why would they then turn around and say, yeah, because I work, I'm going to start paying for stuff. An intelligent person would be like, no, nah, I'm not going. And once you get somebody used to something, no one's going to take less once they've gotten more. So... A lot of times they would rather just be with somebody else, even if they really liked you a whole lot. The relationship has been this way for so long that they just can't imagine being in a relationship with you that requires them to work and give you some of the money for their bills. They're just not going to do it. The relationship started out one way, and they're just not going to go backwards. The last reason, and I guess the most obvious one, but people don't think about it too much, she's broke. You're dating people who don't have the money to maintain the lifestyle that you're living. So, or even half of it. So you're dating somebody that works at McDonald's and you're a surgeon. And you're like, why won't she pay half the bills? Because she can't pay half the bills. Your lifestyle is just way too expensive for her. And you did not think about that when you decided to date someone. You didn't think about the fact that, okay, I need to get somebody who can match my lifestyle because I don't want to live in the, the projects or I don't want to live in a trailer park. And if she's going to pay half of the bills, I've got to live somewhere that she can afford, which is trailer park projects, some, you know, some type of housing. And you didn't want to do that. So that's something you got to think about when you get in a relationship with somebody is, does it make sense based on what they make and I make to, for me to expect them to pay anything? Because you have to remember, your light bill when you live a certain lifestyle is more than somebody that's working on fries at the local McDonald's will make in a month. If your house is a certain size and all that, they don't even make that money. They can't even pay one bill. I mean, I'm sure you can probably find something they can pay, but in most cases, they just can't pay anything. So, you know, you what's the point? So you got to get somebody who's on your level from a financial standpoint. You know, a lot of y'all just keep dating these broke chicks and then you wonder why they're hitting you up for child support, hitting you up for alimony and all that kind of stuff. Hell, they need the money. You know, you decided to just go ahead and think looks only and that, that's all that matters. And some of y'all do it because y'all don't think somebody with money would date you. But you'd be surprised. A lot of times they don't want to they don't want to be with nobody that's broke either. And a lot of times. Just because they got money doesn't mean that they're more picky than somebody who doesn't. 